All right, now for years, some jobs have been considered to be fit for men and akin to taboo for women to engage in. But times and tide have turned, and many women are ably taking on jobs that were previously the preserve of men. But then add the gender divide to a misunderstood and stigma-laden career. That is the reality for Anne Wanjiku, who is a mortician in Nyahururu in the county of Laikipia. She narrated to NTV's Philomen Kimayo what her journey has been like, her inspiration, her battle with stigma, and her points of fear. Okay, I'm flattered. <laughs> you are told as a child there's a person called a mortician. I think the opportunities that are represented to you when you're growing up at the, the big names, uh, the doctor, engineers, the lawyers and stuff. Uh. So growing up you don't have really much to choose from. My family has been very supportive, but um, just growing up, just like any other child, I think uh, your parents want you to, or your guardians want you to become these big, uh, big careers. Eh? They want you to become a doctor. They want you to do these big things. Eh? So uh, when I told them, I remember I went to my uncle and told him, I want to do mortuary science, or I want to become a mortician. He was shocked at first, and he was very hesitant. He didn't know how to respond then, because uh, given the image that has been painted uh, about um, the image that has been painted about all those who work in this industry is not that good of a picture. So they thought probably I'd be oriented in the same. Uh, when you, the body is off the fridge, I think uh, it's either for the preparation of viewing or the body is supposed to be prepared for dispatch. So once the body is enlarged, the first thing you want to do is to set the temperature. So it is automated, yeah? The sensors can tell the amount of uh, temperature to go down or up depending on your body fat. Because the essence of uh, the refrigerator is for uh, preserving the skin and fat, yeah? So if you're small, it goes up. If you're big or your body fat is uh, a lot, it goes up. So these are post-mortem table. Uh, mostly it's used for post-mortems. At the same time, it is used for cleaning of bodies. So immediately a body arrives, you, from the clean, you put it here. So then you undress the body. From there, after undressing, you wash the body. So we have these pillows that are used during the time of viewing the act as a headrest, so that at least uh, you can create an assumption of a resting person. Uh, that way it helps a lot to reduce the trauma, right? Uh, from there, during preparation for dispatch, makeup is advised. But first we ask for the family's consent and also to know how the person used to be in real life. The male 